Uh, Idy Hoops here with uh, Grant Gibbs. Uh, Grant, you know, you answered this question a little bit, but talk about, uh, you know, you're referred to as a coach on the court a lot, right. but now you're on the sidelines. Right. Kind of a preview of, your, of a coaching career for you, maybe? Yeah, I mean, that's something that uh, long term I've uh, definitely thought about. So this has been, uh, you know, a cool opportunity to kind of bring that to fruition a bit. And, uh, you know, just doing what I can to help our team right now. And so obviously not playing, um, this is what I can do to help. Right on. Um, how about t tell me about you and Nick Ball on the radio? It's pretty entertaining to listen to. I know you guys got a close relationship. Uh, tell me about that. Yeah, it's cool. He's a guy that I've gotten really close with over the last couple of years. A lot of similar interests and, and things like that. So, um, you know, him having his own show now is really cool. And uh, it's cool to be on every week and just uh, kind of collaborate with him on ideas and stuff. And that's kind of our daily banter all day, every day. So it's cool to bring to life for 10, 15 minutes every week. I don't know. And uh, is this the best offensive team you've ever been a part of? Yeah, I think so. You know, we were really good my junior year, too. Um, you know, since I've been here, we've had a really good offensive team. But I think right now we're really clicking. Um, guys are, you know, looking for each other and have that fluidity in our offense. So, um, you know, I, I can tell you from sitting on the sideline, it's a lot of fun to watch. Right? Yeah. I understand why we, uh, the crowds are large right now and they're loud because it's right. to watch this group. Right. Well, talk about the crowds I, I, when you can. I mean, the, the Century Link's going off right now. Is it is the crowd even better than it was last year? I mean, it's always been good. Right. Yeah, I think so a little bit. And I noticed during the during the Xavier game especially, and I didn't know if it was because I was uh, uh, now kind of a spectator that yeah. I noticed, but it just seemed like it had a lot more pop, a lot more zip, right. and that really carried over into the Butler game too. So really, all three of our home games that we've had in conference, unbelievable crowds, um, and, and it's a ton of fun to play in front of. I know that. Can you put a value, a point value on them? I mean, how do they impact the game? Is it? It's hard to say point value wise but I mean I know it's definitely an advantage and, yeah. and especially you know in this conference with the foes we have coming in a lot of really good teams right. it helps to have that support and, right. and you know I know everybody on this team appreciates playing at home and that advantage that it gives us. Um, talk about I guess playing with I know you're in the middle of playing you're in on the team right you're playing with Doug but you can't help but be a fan as well talk, talk about being a fan of Doug McDermott what he's doing he's fun to watch man and he's a guy that, I mean, he's a blast to play with and obviously you know we've, we all feel uh, fortunate to have played with a guy like him but, you know he's a guy if he played for a different program that it would still be my, right. one of my favorite players to watch right. uh, kind of just a throwback approach to the game I think, you know, the way he moves without the ball, the ways he scores are so different than yeah. the way you see guys now. Everybody right. wants to isolate and, and, you know, he just plays a different game and it's fun to watch. I think his game is going to translate better than a lot of people think to the NBA. With There's a lot more space to operate. I mean, do you have an opinion on that at all? Yeah, I mean, he just he plays a little different than a lot of guys you see. You know, a lot of guys grow up and, like I said, got the one-on-one -on -one moves like the dribble and, and then, for him, I think people just have a, a tough time gardening because yeah. I haven't seen a guy that's going to sprint the floor every time and seal right. and move. And, right. and you know, before he even makes a shot, he's already worked harder than yeah. anybody on the floor. So you got it's a, tough for guys to guard. You got a favorite move that he does? Uh, his little one foot fadeaway he's perfected is fun. Yeah. I don't like when he goes to that too early. Yeah. I'd rather see him post, establish himself. Yeah. But honestly, when he's making that shot and I've had to guard it, I mean, there's not a lot you can do with that shot. Uh, two more questions. Uh, one with you, I mean, you're a brilliant passer. Talk, I mean, I think it's something that, you know, you get an assist, but people don't really see what goes into that pass. So putting it right on the money right. and making the right pass at the right time. Tell me about that talent that you have. Um, you know, it's just something, you know, you view the game a certain way, and when you have the skill set that I do, um, just always looking for people. And, and obviously, playing with Doug makes that really easy because he can catch any pass. Um, he can get it up to the rim quickly. So um, just always being cognizant of where he's at. And then, yeah. Talk about the kind of arsenal we have. A lot of guys that can shoot. He's always looking to spray it to people and hit them in their spots. So, you know, I've done a lot of work, you know, seeing where guys want the ball and, and trying to do that as part of my game. All right, let's finish up with hip hop. Can you give me give me your top five artists or get, throw a few names out there? And then we, we've also talked about who's the best freestyle rapper on the team. Your name's come up. <laughs> I don't know if I believe it. Tell, tell me about that. Uh, yeah, I don't really freestyle. That's not my deal. But, you know, especially the last couple of years, I've become a real student of hip hop, I think. Uh, I just like appreciate the art form and, and all the different styles, all the things that go into it. Um, I'm really like uh, Native Tongues, Tribe Called Quest, De La Soul. That's yeah, kind yeah. of my favorite stuff. But, uh, you know, I like Biggie. Nas, all those guys, um, Farside, yeah. 
Um, my guy right now, as far as new people, is Action Bronson. He's my. He's my All right. Brother. We got a, a strong following of him on our team. Always. We're gonna try to hit him up when we're in New York and see if he'll come to our game in the Garden. But nice. uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan, and, and it's cool to see you know new guys coming up. Cool. Thanks, Grant. No problem, man.